Hello everyone, this is The Empress Speaks. Today is July 15th, 2023, and today we want to do a reading for Leo and find out what's in your energy, okay? Um, thank you for my returning subscribers and anyone who's passing through. Uh, I appreciate you stopping to see what's going on over here on my channel. And um, yeah, let's get into this read and we want to Ensure that all of the energies that are sent our way are positive. Any negative energy should be transmuted and sent back to the sender and redirected in a very positive light. Um, certainly want to protect the read for those who are listening, obviously for myself and my family. So how are y'all doing today? How's your summer going? It's hotter than Hades out here in Texas. I was going to do an outdoor reading, but y'all let me tell you, it's 101 right now out here in Granger, Texas, and uh, <laughs> the high today is going to be 104, so I ain't no way I'm going outside, but I definitely wanted to share with you just, you know, life on the farm, because it's kind of, it's kind of cool, and my son works really hard making sure everything looks nice, so I just wanted to kind of show it to you but anyway all right what's going on for our lucky handsome gorgeous beautiful leos all right what's going on in the energy spirit all right thank you i got a page of cups here <clears throat> first card so somebody's looking for a new opportunity or perhaps a new love or maybe even an apology all right Got a nine of swords, so somebody is coming out of a mental imprisonment. Um, they're releasing some worry, so they want to extend an apology. They're reaching out from whatever they've been under. Could be um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a water sign, Caprico, Caprico. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Can I get more on this line of swords in reverse spirit? Somebody's releasing something, and that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, we got the two of swords in reverse. So somebody has choice. They're no longer stuck and stagnant. They're releasing some of the emotional strains and and uh, the, the um, restraints from just being in some type of mental imprisonment. They're letting go of some things. They want to offer an apology to you, Leo, unless this is you offering an apology to someone else. But letting go of all of the mental constraints, um, no longer stuck and stagnant, and, um, you know, ready to make a decision, okay? Let's see. Give me more on this two of swords in reverse. What type of decision is going to be made, Spirit? Thank you. Transition. Um, the t uh, six of swords. So somebody is looking to um, make some type of uh, personal transition where, you know, they want to go back and revisit some unfinished business. So what I'm getting is somebody who has been reluctant to apologize or bring forth an apology to you to close out a cycle correctly is, has been plagued mentally. Um, they've, they've been very um, stressed and burdened by their actions or inability to come forward with an apology, a proper, an apolo a proper apology. Um, you may be um, in separation and there's been no communication with you and this person. And so, you know, they've had a lot of um, turmoil um, just thinking about this and now they're releasing this and they're you know allowing themselves to heal and to ascend um, spiritually and do the right thing uh, towards making an apology and making right this cycle closing out this cycle correctly so that's a wonderful thing give me more on the six of swords in reverse spirit yeah we've got the three of swords so they know that they um, did something to betray you, to break your heart, and they may be suffering as well from a heartbreak, so they may be going through some type of divorce and or separation. Let's get more on this to clarify whether or not this is something that your person is going through or their um, acknowledgement and awareness of what they put you through. 
we got too many cards here, so let's see. Thank you, Spirit. And we've got the star card in reverse. So um, I think this is how they're feeling towards you. They know that they broke your heart. They betrayed you and caused a separation uh, through their disloyalty. And um, this star card in reverse is, you know, indicating that they feel that they're slipping, you are slipping away from them. And this connection is disseminating. You know, there's nothing they can do. There's no hope, faith, or balance of, you know, hope, faith, or uh, renewal here. It's just a lot of despair because they know they did wrong. And then we've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. So, you know, someone has come into clarity about all of the mental confusion that they've been under, perhaps even a little light spell work regarding this Queen of Pentacles, and this might be a married person, so this person may have been in a relationship with someone, a karmic relationship, doesn't necessarily have to be a negative one, because Queen of Pentacles is someone who's very practical, supportive, and financially stable, wise, perhaps a parent, so a child or children could be involved in the situation as well. And we've got the chariot in reverse. So this could be the reason why this person has not come forward to uh, make the apology or to close out the cycle properly. Um, they have been stuck um, due to, you know, just um, commitments, perhaps even, um, you know, just trying to juggle the thought of, okay, do I pursue what's in my heart versus stay in a long-term commitment or relationship? So they were stuck. They were not able to move forward, and there could have been some type of spiritual enlightenment or transition this person needed to go through and just were very reluctant to, to uh, listen to their higher self or the divine. Spirit, give me more on this uh, chariot in reverse, please. Thank you. And we've got this Eight of Swords. So this person, um, you know, for the past few months at least, uh, they've been in a period of self-doubt. Um, they've not really trusted their own intuition. Uh, they've been in this self-imposed -impo imprisonment where they keep replaying over and over again what happened, what they said, what they didn't say, how they could avoid the situation. Um, so they're, excuse me, they're replaying this over and over again in their head, which is causing the mental imprisonment because they don't sleep at night. Their conscience is not clear. Um, and they want to, we've got the food card that came, uh, after they want to, they want a new beginning. They want a new opportunity. They want to trust in this connection and come forward and take a leap of faith and, and offer this apology to you or try to right this wrong in some way. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here. Uh, they feel like this is a lost opportunity, like they've waited too long. They still continue to think about you. They hold you in their heart um, close, but they feel like, you know, they've missed their opportunity. And we could be talking about uh, air signs um, as well as earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gem Gemini, or even, um, let's see, heavy on the air sign with the uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Give me more spirit on this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Wands. So, um, they still, they are very, uh, passionate about you. Um, they have, you know, a lot of heated emotions when it comes to you. And this could be a fellow fire sign and a, a Leo or Aries or Sag. or someone with fire in their chart. Feeling very impulsive, uh, just because of their passion. It drives them. They think of you often. Um, but they do want to try to change how you feel about them or know better how you feel about them because that's what keeps them from coming forward. They know they did wrong and they just don't know if now is the appropriate time to approach you. So they toggle back and forth between should I call, should I reach out, is it too late, or what will they think of me? Um, so they're in a lot of turmoil about that. 
We've got the Eight of Pentacles here, so there, um, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or another Earth sign, uh, or an Earth sign that's um, involved in, in this. And so basically they're just, you know, they're working diligently really hard on trying to fix, you know, themselves spiritually, uh, financially. Um, there, there may be some um, addictive behaviors that they're trying to work through. Uh, they may be receiving some type of counseling um, regarding the situation, getting better advice or more informed on soulmate connections, twin flame, um, trying to understand what's happening to them on a spiritual level, on a 3D level. And then we have the king of pentacles here. So definitely this there was a, some this is involving a, a karmic marriage because we've got the king and queen of pentacles in the upright here. So um, this person is is really struggling with trying not to hurt someone. You know they don't want anyone to be hurt. I do believe they've got some emotion uh, for the mother of their child um, or children. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or someone with that in their chart. Uh, he, he's trying to be a stable leader and to do this the correct way because he just doesn't want to hurt any more uh, people in his life that has, um, you know, shown love to him. And, and this could be a very committed relationship. This could be at least a four or more years relationship or marriage. And so this person is trying to do the right thing. You know, both of these cards are coming out and up, right? So um, they're trying to handle this in a mature way. And we've got the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person um, is really wanting to come clean. They want to just kind of clear, clear their heart, um, empty their heart out, confess. And, um, you know, and a part of that confession is them acknowledging not necessarily wanting to hurt the other person, um, the spouse, you know, but they've learned all they can learn from this karmic relationship, and it has to come to an end, whether or not you give this person a second chance. But this relationship has run its course. Um, this individual has awakened to all that they need to know about this relationship, and it's just time to put it to rest and um, heavy air sign, so this person could definitely, uh, most likely have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or be a Gem Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or have air in their chart somewhere. So um, this person wants to turn over a new leaf, even if it means going it alone, whether or not you give them an opportunity, but they certainly want to make an apology and amends come towards you. Um, they're, they're very unsure because they know that they have hurt you. They acknowledge that um, even though you've been in separation, they know that they've caused a tremendous amount of pain and betrayal. Spirit, when will they come towards the person in this reading? Will, will it be soon? What can we expect in terms of their immediate actions? Two of Wands. Um, they're definitely inspired to come towards you. They're planning, um, you know, travel plans, and they may have to travel a distance, it, it looks like, for, for some of you, um, out of state for sure, um, perhaps even out of the country. Um, they want some type of reconciliation, but they're putting it all together, whether this would be a reconciliation towards love or towards work, but I'm getting more love. And... Um, and they're, they want to be intuitively led. I think they're aware of this connection and they're no longer blocking it. And so they're like, you know, planning to come forward um, very soon. Leo season is coming up. Um, if this is this person in this reading is a Leo, they're most likely going to do it during Leo season. So this could happen uh, latter part of this month and um, the first two weeks of August. Okay, so that's that's what's going on. That's what's in the energy for you. I hope this resonates with some. If it does, please um, let me know in the comment section if you like the way that I read um, or just like the vibe. 
certainly you are welcome to join our little community and soul tribe. Um, would love to hear from you. Comment sections are very important to me because I kind of get an idea of, of what's resonating and what's not. Okay, so um, definitely like, share, and subscribe if you want to be a part of our little growing community. I'm so thankful and so proud of what we're doing in a short time. We almost have uh, 100 subscribers, and I think it's getting better, and I love the slow growth. I love, um, you know, reading for you all and seeing um, the likes and, and, and subscribes daily. It makes me feel good that our community is growing. You are part of my soul tribe. I started this all over again, and I'm starting it with you, and you mean everything to me for supporting me, okay? Let's get some fun stuff. Let's get an oracle reading and see what's... Let's see. No, let's do some angel answers. Let's find out. All right, I want you to think of a question, and... Um, while you're thinking of the question, I'm going to check the cards here. Could be yes, no, when, whatever your question is, be thinking of it. And let's pull an oracle, I'm sorry, an angel answer, and then we'll do an oracle and close out. I'm going to take this one that's all the way on the floor. It says reconsider. Okay. Um, not a yes, not a no, but um, for those of you who feel like you've made your mind up in this situation and you're not taking this person back and you don't feel that they've healed or learned what they needed to know or you haven't healed from whatever betrayal, um, Spirit is asking you to reconsider. Um, you know, search your soul, search your heart, use your divine intuition, but uh, Spirit is saying reconsider. Um, only you know the circumstance well. You know, and whether or not you can um, discern whether or not this person has healed and you're willing to give it another chance. If this is a twin flame soulmate connection, it is divinely created and it will be very difficult uh, without the divine intervention to end such a relationship on earth or in the 3D. Okay, so reconsider um, and let's pull another one. It's one of your answers, reconsider. Okay. Okay. Improving health here. So, um, this card um, could mean that you need to focus on physical health, spiritual health, and or mental health. Um, so, as you are, you know, reconsidering and, and thinking about this person who is definitely thinking about you, perhaps you two are mirroring each other, is to focus on your health right now. Um, meditation brings answers. So maybe your spiritual health is something that you need to draw more attention to. And um, in the very near future, that's going to be helpful for, for you. All right. Let's get... I'm going I'm to use this <coughs> self-awareness card. I'm going to pull one of these because that's just what I'm feeling led to do today. Okay. We've got two, so I'll take both. Okay. This is the first card. What boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationship? So as you think about this reconnection or reconsider this reconnection um, or coming out of separation, the Spirit says to create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires, and feelings and believe we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. Today's soul attraction, when we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. If you are an empath, you can still be compassionate towards others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. Today's mantra, I have everything I need within me now, and so do they. I am worthy of my needs, and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. 
So Spirit is just reminding you to put yourself first, to put your healing first, and understand that separation is sometimes your protection so that this person can heal and understand and, and come into uh, more clarity about this soul connection, right? And being an, being an empath myself, we do sometimes take on the emotions of others and the stuff of others. And Spirit wants you to be careful with that um, and own your own energy. Release that which does not belong to you. And even those things that do, that energy that does belong to you that's heavy, heavy release that as well. Okay? Release it. Um, the second card is, where can I create more space? Instead of filling up yourself with busy work and things to do, create more sacred space in your schedule, in your home, your mind, your lungs, and in your heart. Take time to just be. Do a clutter detox of your schedule, your home, and innermost self. Make space and clarity will come. Some of you have um, maybe inadvertently or deliberately inundated yourself with just doing busy work to keep your mind off of your heartache and heartbreak. But Spirit wants you to be more conscientious about how you fill your time. Take time um, to create a sacred space in your home and your heart. Take time to meditate uh, and to motivate yourself to go within, to say your affirmations, to create um, a, a chart or board for affirmations and to be deliberate about your rituals when it comes to that and to not just fill up your day with just busy work, okay? Um, I hope this helps um, some of you. I know this reading may not resonate with all of you. Take what does resonate and leave the rest. Um, definitely feel free to flip it whenever you see this is when you're meant to see it. And in the interim, take care of yourself and each other. Until next time.